This video is about replacing the light bulbs in the control panel of a Biogram 4000 turntable with LEDs. For more information, please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. The Biogram 4000 has four light bulbs in the control panel. There are two light bulbs under the position indicator scale and there's one light bulb each under the RPM trimmers here for 33 RPM and 45 RPM. Here you see the relevant part of the circuit diagram. The two light bulbs of the position indicator scale, they are connected to 24 volts and a 120 ohm resistor. And the two light bulbs of the RPM trimmers, they are each connected to 6 volts. To get to the light bulbs, we need to take out the control panel. The first step is to drive over the carriage until this spring here is relaxed and then it's easy to take out this assembly, uh, which I think is important to protect this uh, irreplaceable plastic part here that acts as the position indicator on the scale here. So let's drive this over. So you see now the spring is relaxed and now we can take out this part. Now we take out the two screws that hold this uh, slider assembly. And carefully lift it out without breaking the red plastic part. And now we can take out the control panel. All we have to do is to unscrew it with this one screw and then we can carefully lift it up. Of course the cabinet needs to be pulled forward in order to take the keypad out, that is important. And now we can open the control panel. There's only one screw that needs to be removed, this one. Sometimes you need to push it back a little and now you can just flip it open. Here you can see the four light bulbs. These two are for the scale illumination and this here is the 33 and the 45 uh, RPM trimmer. Here you can see the small printed circuit boards that I designed to replace the scale light bulbs. The important thing here is, because the scale indicator is red, we need some red light, so we couldn't just use amber LEDs. And so what I use here are LEDs that have a green and a red component. And with these resistors, one can adjust the ratio between red and green light. And so with this, we can uh, get a very natural looking incandescent light imitation but we have red photons and therefore we can illuminate the red scale indicator properly. This shows the LED assemblies that are used for the RPM trimmer illumination. This is just a high brightness red LED and a, a current limiting resistor. Uh, this here still shows a 1K resistor, but it turned out it was too bright, so uh, what I really put in uh, was 3.3K uh, uh, resistors. Here you see everything installed, so the small circuit boards, they directly replace the light bulbs, and here we have the two uh, LEDs for the RPM trimmers. And here you see everything in action. Once the LEDs are in, we can put everything back together. It can be a little bit tricky to put this uh, cable string here under the keyboard, so it's best to flip it up or down in the back here and then fold it underneath. Care should be taken that it doesn't obstruct here the path of the uh, strobe light into the mirror. And now we can put the screw back in. And now we can put the slider back in. It's of course important that the end here really goes into this slot.
Here you see everything in action. The scale illumination really looks like incandescent. The indicator is red as it should be, so that comes from the red photons from the red LEDs. And we have here the 33 RPM trimmer, slightly illuminated from below. Now this here is a little bit brighter than it was originally, but the original uh, illumination was very hard to see if there was the slightest bit of room light, so we decided we would like this a, a little bit brighter. But of course by using a larger resistor this could be uh, tuned down to the original level. And that's it. Now you know how to replace the light bulbs in the control panel of a Biogram 4000. If you're interested in my LED assemblies, send me an email. Thanks for watching.